Hello, this is Chucky from C. Delano Photography, and today I'm standing in front of Mount Garfield in Grand Junction, Colorado. Now, I thought this would be a great landmark to use for the full moon. And I was wondering, how do I know when the full moon is either going to rise or set above Mount Garfield? Now, I did a little bit of research, and in order to find that out, we have to use what's called a photographer's ephemeris. And then, to be able to get the precise location of when the moon is going to go up or down, we have to use an app for our smartphones, something like Photo Pills. So today, I'm going to take you through how I got my shot of the moon over Mount Garfield. first place that we need to start to look is for the photographer's ephemeris. The very top one is the photographer's ephemeris. Let's scroll down to the web app. Now you can use Android and iOS apps. Those will cost you a little bit of money but this one is free if you use it on the web. If you click on that and go down to open web app, you'll see a map. Now let's show you how to use this. Now I'm recording this on Thursday, April the 4th, but I actually shot my picture on March the 20th. Now I need to put in where my location, and that was in Grand Junction, Colorado. Now that the map has popped up, I need to find where the location of Mount Garfield is. I will select satellite because I can find it a little bit better with the satellite map. I'm going to scroll down to Mount Garfield right here. Now I'm going to drop a pin and move it somewhere where I can get access near Interstate 70. As you can see, this is where the moon is going to rise at 6 o'clock, and it's going to rise just beyond Mount Garfield if I stand over here. It's going to set at 6.45 in the morning, but it's going to set in that direction. So that's how you know where the sun is, or when the moon is going to rise, and where the moon's going to set. You can also choose whether or not the sun sets here or the sun rises, and you can see exactly where that's going to be. Well, I want to find a place where it's going to intersect Mount Garfield. So I'm going to keep going to the west, and I'm gonna find another area over here near I-70 where it might intersect. Now, as you can see right here, it is going a little bit beyond. So I need to figure out where there's a location where the moon is going to be. I need to keep moving this around until it's almost right on top of Mount Garfield. As you can see with this line right here, that tells you at approximately 640 in the evening. So if you move that to the left or to the right, you can see where the moon is going to be at the specific time. Well, it doesn't actually start rising until six o'clock, so you won't see it, and then it'll start moving away and southbound. So I need to find some place over here, and where I figured I might be able to get it is on this road right next to Grand Junction Airport. And as the sun, or as the moon is rising, it will start going this direction and should go right over Mount Garfield. Once we have this location set and this location set, I need to do a little scouting around and see where exactly the moon is going to be using the Photo Pills app. Let's first navigate to the Photo Pills app. Once we get to the app, let's choose Night AR. After a few seconds, you can see that it will put up an overlay of where the moon will be. 
Make sure that you are on the correct day, which would be March the 20th at 6 o'clock. Verify that the moon is going to be somewhere over the proximity of where you want it to be in your picture. And you're done. Now it's time to go grab your gear, come back, do a little bit of waiting, and take your picture. This is Chucky from C. Delano Photography. If you want a little bit more help on different types of photography tips, come back, subscribe to this channel, and give me a thumbs up and a like.